not subscribe to our channel you can do so by clicking the subscribe button as shown above hello friends welcome to kamath astrology in today's video we will talk about the uniqueness of eclipses following diwali in the year 2022 so on 25th october 2022 there is a solar eclipse and the day before that is the day of diwali followed by normal humans like you and me again on 7th november there is something called as dev diwali which is the diwali of gods or devas and immediately on 8th november that is the next day you have a lunar eclipse so both the diwali festivals are followed by eclipses and this is a very critical event as eclipses always bring about or bring out something new something which is hidden and something which makes us realize the importance of things we believe to be insignificant so the festival of lights is followed by eclipses and that is definitely not a good sign it shows that from light you are progressing towards darkness and that is definitely a negative sign for mankind so definitely both these eclipses are pointing to difficult days difficult times ahead for mankind and the world in general now you can see two charts on the screen the left hand chart is the chart of lunar eclipse occurring on 8th november 2022 and right hand side chart is the chart of the solar eclipse occurring on 25th october 2022 so in this video we will analyze the lunar eclipse on 8th november 2022 i have already covered what is going to happen because of the solar eclipse on 25th october 2022 in a separate video which talks about extreme dangers for the russia ukraine war during the period 25th october to 31st october 2022 because the solar eclipse that is in the right hand side where you see ketu and sun in a circle that is occurring at exactly 24 degrees where pluto is present in the natal chart of ukraine and therefore pluto with natal pluto and transiting ketu causing an eclipse here that is the solar eclipse on 25th october 2022 shows some kind of serious radiation serious nuclear attack or serious attack due to chemical weapons between russia and ukraine in that time frame which is not good for mankind now let us look at the chart on the left hand side and in a square you can see rahu moon uranus together now an interesting thing is when this eclipse is happening uranus and moon are at 22 degrees they are at the same degree rahu is also very close by he is at around 18 degrees now what is the moon actually the moon is our mind the moon is our emotions moon is our feelings moon is our sentiment and what is uranus uranus is eccentricity uranus is thinking out of the box uranus is suddenness and rahu always amplifies the effects of the planets with which it is present so rahu is going to amplify the effects of uranus moon conjunction now where is this eclipse occurring where is the moon the moon is in the sign of aries with uranus and rahu and aries is the first sign in the zodiac belt so it represents new beginnings new initiatives new things now with uranus an element of suddenness comes and because the moon is our mind what it shows is during this period when the eclipses start especially around 8th november 2022 some sudden event will happen 
विच विल स्ट्रेस द वर्ल्ड और विच विल डिस्टर्ब द बैलेंस अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड एंड देर फोर दिस इज अ टाइम वेन द मेंटल स्टेट ऑफ अवर माइंड मे नॉट बी वेरी स्टेबल मे नॉट बी वेरी स्टेडी बिकॉज सम इवेंट इज लाइकली टू डिस्टर्ब अस इन अ बिग वे एट द वर्ल्ड लेवल इन द साइन ऑफ लिब्रा इन द सेकेंड स्क्वेर यू कैन सी केतु वीनस मर्क्यूरी एंड सन टुगेदर नाउ यर ऑल्सो यू नीड टू लुक एट द डिग्रीज सन एंड मर्क्यूरी आर बोथ एट ट्वेंटी वन डिग्रीज इट्स अ वेरी क्लोज कंजंक्शन वीनस इज जस्ट फाइव डिग्रीज अपार्ट इज एट ट्वेंटी सिक्स डिग्रीज केतु लाइक राहू इज एट एटीन डिग्रीज सो अगेन दिस साइन ऑफ लिब्रा is experiencing a tight conjunction of mercury sun venus and ketu venus represents pleasures comforts harmony ketu represents loss sun is the giver of light sun is power sun is government sun is authority mercury is our intellect mercury is our decision making ability and all of these come under the influence of the lunar eclipse so definitely in this time period some event will occur which will disturb the balance across the world and because ketu is present it definitely shows a huge loss to mankind in this time period when the eclipse is start especially around the end october to the first two weeks of november time frame another interesting thing saturn is present with pluto when the lunar eclipse occurs there is a big degree separation between them saturn is at 24 degrees pluto is just at 1 degrees but remember in ukraine's chart natal pluto is in the sign of libra at around 24 degrees and therefore saturn is at 24 degrees natal pluto is at 24 degrees in ukraine's chart and saturn at 24 degrees on 8 november 2022 is aspecting the sign of libra where pluto is present in ukraine's natal chart at around the same degrees and therefore this definitely shows some major challenges some major escalations in the russia ukraine war and therefore i don't see this period starting from october 25th till around at least the second week of november as a good period it is going to be an extremely difficult period across the world so if people are living in this region near russia near ukraine or even in european countries it is a good time to move out for some time go to some other place go on a vacation go to your relatives place do something but don't stay in those areas another interesting thing which you can see in this chart on the left hand side that is the lunar eclipse chart on 8 november 2022 is that mars who signifies electricity who signifies power who signifies the armed forces is oscillating around 0 degrees of the sign of gemini so he is at the border of taurus and gemini and mars is going to go retrograde from october 30th so what happens when mars goes retrograde and enters taurus the economy will fluctuate people will become very conservative with respect to money there will be lot of economic depression across the world financial crisis will come across the world and therefore even mars is not showing something good mars also represents coal power electricity and mars oscillating around 0 degrees here shows a power crisis shows problems with respect to electric supply in different countries so definitely both these eclipses following diwali brings lot of challenges 
but these challenges will awaken the world to certain realities and many things which we have been taking for granted till now we will realize the importance of those things very soon so friends eclipses will bring out hidden things will bring out things which be considered insignificant but definitely play a very major role in our life and these eclipses will teach us to value life in a better way to value every single day in a better way and not to take the things we get easily for granted in life now which regions will be impacted by the lunar eclipse on 8th november 2022 The lunar eclipse will be visible as a total lunar eclipse across South America, Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Australia. So these areas will be the most affected by the lunar eclipse. It will also be visible across Russia and Ukraine and therefore these areas will also have a major impact. Now in India this lunar eclipse will occur for a very short duration it will not be a total lunar eclipse here and india will not be much impacted by this lunar eclipse nevertheless the lunar eclipse impacts the 12th house of india's chart and the 6th house of india's chart and therefore it means hidden enemies backed by foreign countries can cause disturbances in india in this time period and that is one front where india in particular needs to be very careful otherwise this eclipse will not have any major impact on india but definitely in australia in south america portions of the indian ocean pacific ocean and european countries this lunar eclipse as well as solar eclipse will cause major disturbances so people living in this region they have to be very careful in this time period and take the necessary precautions to protect themselves if you look at saturn and mars they are 6 8 positions from each other forming a shadashtak which again indicates a major conflict saturn aspects jupiter thereby restraining jupiter from doing good things so in this time period even jupiter is constrained and cannot do much good despite being in his own house in the sign of pisces so that is also one major problem and therefore i don't see any benefit in so friends i will stop this video at this point let us see what happens post the eclipses how much portion of what i said actually comes true so friends if you like this video do mark it as liked on youtube if you have not subscribed to our channel you can do so by clicking the subscribe button our contact details are given here you can reach us through email at astrosevaworld@yahoo.com or you can visit our website astroseva.tripod.com so friends thanks a lot bye take care and do stay safe